Now let's start drawing a salt shaker with a spherical shape. I draw two lines for the bottom cylinder. On the, under the salt shaker is very thin cylinder. So a spherical volume and two cylinders make a salt shaker. Note that we need to transform the middle cylinder into cone because it has a slight inclination on both sides. So drop the details for now and try to draw the whole object from a few different angles. I rotate the salt shaker and draw from the top. I draw a circle instead of its spherical volume. I draw salt shaker circle as well as the circle above. I connect the circles with two lines. So the circle is spherical and the second circle is thin cylinder for the salt shaker. Its bottom looks like an ellipse. Notice that according to the perspective law, both circles approach each other and appear shorter. With two lines on each side, the circles are connected. I'm drawing it again from another angle, from front. The two circles inside are almost perpendicular to us. This ladle is similar to the spherical shape of the spoon. A spherical slice like the cake you cut. The part of ladle to which the handle should be added. This handle is a long cube that adheres to the circle. Rotate and understand the volume constantly. It's important to recognize it's important to recognize the volumes and not worry about the similarity of the drawing to the object for now.